Okay, so this video is a look at Star Wars Storybook. I've recently been looking at all of my old annuals, comics and storybooks, both on here and in real life. I used to read annuals as a kid, as it was close to watching the films they were based on as I could get. I used the storybook of the film for the same reason. As I've shown, annuals could be slightly different to the films they were based on, as they sometimes added a few scenes here and there. Storybooks were a lot closer, all except one Star Wars book. As all Star Wars fans know, George Lucas didn't use all the footage he shot for the first film. He put some of it back in for the 1997 special editions, but some of it still remains unused. Somehow, some of it survived in this storybook. It's only a few scenes near the beginning, but if you're a Star Wars fan, you might find it interesting. When the Imperial Star Destroyer is attacking Princess Leia's rebel blockade runner at the beginning of the film, it's over the planet Tatooine, where Luke Skywalker lives. While this is going on above him, he's working on his uncle's farm with a Treadwell droid. He notices the battle above him and watches it through some very powerful binoculars, as you can see in these pictures. That's one scene. And here's the other. A little bit later on, when Artu and 3PO have landed on Tatooine and separated, it cuts to a scene with Luke and his friend Biggs. Biggs is about to join the Rebels, while Luke has to stay behind on the farm, which he's not happy about. Biggs is in the film we saw. He dies during the assault on the Death Star at the end. It affects Luke, but not us, because we don't really know how good their friendship is. I can see why Luke has cut these scenes out, as they only slow the film down. I've noticed on DVD extras that filmmakers only cut talking scenes out, never the action. And maybe it was more dramatic that the audience first meets Luke when R2 and 3PO do, when his uncle is buying droids from the Jawas. Also, I think the scene with Biggs was cut out because he seems older than Luke, and even calls him Kid, like Han Solo does. So maybe Luke has thought one Han Solo was enough for one film. These scenes must have been cut out at the last minute, for them to be still in here. This must have already been at the printers, and either forgotten about, or considered too costly, to rewrite and reprint a more up-to-date edition. Even though these scenes were cut from the film, it didn't stop them making figures from them. He's original Luke with a sun hat and binoculars and a Treadwell droid. To tell you the truth, the Treadwell droid is from Empire Strikes Back. It's the one who helps Han fix the Falcon in the Rebel base on Hoth but it's the same kind of droid who helps Luke on the farm. And here's Biggs from his cut scene, in all his black cloth cape glory. Okay, so that was a look at his Star Wars storybook, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.